hello everyone welcome to another unity tutorial so here i'm going to work on how to create a four legged character like this so with uh, inputs we can control and work around with this character with animations and everything so this is the character and uh, this is what we are going to implement in this tutorial so yeah so initially i will be implementing the character and then the animations uh, and after that i want to work on the eye case for this character so that the foot will be adapted into the ground slope uh, so it would look more realistic the in terms of animation and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right uh, let's it start a new project i'll use this uh, 3d template let's call it uh, four legged right okay so this is the scene I got uh, uh, let's add a cube first as the flow all right and I have a dear character let's drag and drop the model first so this is the character model i have like this okay uh, let me delete that and also i have three more animations walk run and idle let me drag and drop those two Walk. Huh. It's the walk. Okay, I forgot it. Right. Now, when I drag and drop, I can preview those animations like this. Okay, and now I'll create an empty project empty object let's call it uh, dear then I'm gonna drag and drop this dear model here cool. right let's lift this a little bit okay uh, let's add two more materials so we can easily see the dear character and from and another one for the ground M green like this and the metallic let's make it zero so it feels more like grass and it's too bright yeah this is better okay now we have the dear character um, and let me lift this so in order to act this as a character 
we need to add a collider and a rigid body so that it will react to gravity and it will not go through any other objects so yeah here i add uh, first add a collider capsule collider let's look at this in a isometric way so we can adjust this easily right we have to move the collider like this uh, this should be set okay let's look at it this way right i think this would be good enough for now right now let's go back to the perspective mode and where yeah main camera is here so i'll put the main camera under the deer and let's align it with this view using Control shift f now the camera is like this so if i play nothing will happen yeah exactly nothing is happening now here i'll add a rigid body and i'm gonna add uh, i'm gonna freeze rotation on all the axis because uh, this is a character so it's not like a, just a uh, inactive just a physics simulation it shouldn't roll on the ground so and also I'll make it is kinematic oh. right Right. if I enable kinematic gravity won't affect so I'll disable it okay now when I play this uh, the character is placed on the ground like this okay okay <clears throat> now we need uh, a camera for this let's see what we can use for that uh, yeah uh, wait a minute let's download go to the standard assets okay let's download one of the camera rigs and a third person character i'm gonna select none collapse this all i uh, yeah i need cameras and I need uh, I don't need the first person any of this yeah I need the third person character we could use it and as this course platform input will be used by these scripts in camera and character I'm gonna enable it so yeah only cameras and third person character and cross platform input I'm gonna import them okay and now let's see we have the third person character prefab here let's uh, drag and drop it and let's delete this camera of it let's leave it and see what happens okay the character can run around right uh, now I'm gonna delete this camera and let's uh, use one of these uh, cameras let's try this free look camera rig and as the target let's drag and drop this third person character third person controller and see what happens 
okay now we have a controllable character right let's modify this uh, can I yeah let's unpack the prefab because I don't need any of the changes here have to be applied to the main prefab yeah same as the, uh, we did it has a rigid body and a capsule collider and third person user control and third person character script and also animate yeah, I, let's disable this for now and delete uh, this ethan body Ethan glasses and Ethan skeleton and let's drag and drop this dear character under the third person controller oh what's this let's set these to one 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 Uh, yeah this is fine I guess right now uh, let's play this and see what happens does the character move it is not moving uh, why it doesn't move I think the boomer's moment was based on root motion. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, seems like that's the case. So, okay, let's change this then. Yeah, actually, I think the reason is here I disable the animator so when I enable the animator uh, let's see yeah it works now okay now the dear character can move but it does not have animations so all right let's see how to fix that Okay, uh, actually let's do that in another episode.